Well, hey there. Welcome or welcome back. This is Breathe and Budget and my name is Taryn. We talk about all things finance related on this channel like the zero based budget method, cash envelopes, fund savings challenges, basically anything that impacts our finances in a good and a bad way. So if any of that is of interest to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join our community here and let's get into today's video. All right, you guys, so today we are going to be cash stuffing $2,145. Um, I will be looking at this to the side. This is the budget by paycheck workbook by the budget bomb. I have my categories, the amount and the denominations. Um, I love using her system and I do like the full size workbook but I have been itching to get into a smaller size. So I was really happy to hear that for this year's launch, she is going to be introducing a new size. She has not said what that size is. I'm hoping it's similar to like an A5, um, just because I think it'd be easier to film with and show you guys. Um, but I love the full size workbook and this workbook is something I've been using since 2020 and I absolutely love it. I have considered like creating my own and I have created some sheets like my spending trackers, but this just has everything that I could need. Um, I don't necessarily need to create anything different just yet, but it, I mean, it is something people have asked me about and it is something that I'm considering, but there are so many shops that do offer wonderful like workbooks that would help you manage your finances that um, I'm not in a rush to necessarily get it together because if I were going to create one I'd want it to be um, one I want it to work for me people with like my mindset and way of thinking when it comes to this but um, also I would want to take my time with it to make sure that it was you know of quality so with that said let's go ahead and let me get my wallet and let me get my essentials workbook I'm not as prepared as I normally am. Okay, so my wallet. Um, oh, now that you're seeing this, I might as well explain it. In every wallet, since I was a teenager, I've always hidden $100, $200. I've never touched it. Like this 100 has been in here, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, definitely over like five years, more than that for sure. But, um, you know, it's emergency money. It's it's nothing I track. It's literally just in my wallet in case I need it. Um, so I'm gonna take out my receipts, scan this into Fetch Rewards. I went to PetSmart yesterday. I've already taken the envelope out, um, but I just put my treats and toys envelope in my wallet, went and got them their little chimichanga chews. That's what I call them because they look like chimichanga burritos. So we call them chimmies for short, um, but that was just my receipt. So I'm gonna scan that in. And let me go ahead and just pull out. So this is my spending. Dining out. Let's see. These are some really nice ones. So I might put those towards savings challenges. This is what I have left for dining out. 23. Well, it's not what I've left. It's just what's in my wallet. I'm going to leave that in there. Um, or actually, let me take those three because I'm gonna put that to savings challenges and for kids, there's nothing in there. Okay, I'm gonna put that to the side in case I wanna add more to it. Let's hop into my essentials binder. Oh my gosh, my husband has been in here. You see that? You see that? That's like evidence. <laughs> okay, so Minus these three dollars. This is what I have left. I think I may have spent a little. Let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Nope, I didn't spend any of it. 75. So I'm going to put that to savings challenges. I'm going to add these three from dining out since they're really crisp. And that'll go back there. <laughs> I told you it was my husband. Okay, let's see what does he have left. $40. Okay. Um, let's put that back in there the right way. And then um, us, date night, whatever you want to call it, $40 left. Let's see. I still have to do my video for like my weekly spending, so this might change. Um, dining out 20, 40, 60, 80, 115, plus that 20 in my wallet. 
And then nails, this is rollover, 40.55. Um, and I didn't realize how fast the nail appointment was coming up. Like I fully funded this the first check of June to cover that appointment, but not realizing that this coming Saturday, um, which I think is the 22nd, is my nail appointment. So I'm gonna have to use my checking account cushion, like pull cash for that um, or borrow it from one of these envelopes and then replenish it, um, that first check that I'll use for July. Okay, kids has 20, 40, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 55. And I think we did 150, so that'll probably just roll over. Toiletries and household we haven't touched. 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 90, 60, 90, 90, um, But I actually do think I need to pull. I don't know. I have to look at my list. It's why I wipe. I got something in there. Um, it's why I write everything down for my spending, just so I remember like what transactions and what I owe. 100, 250, 270, 295, 96, 97, 98, 99, 300. Perfect. And then I haven't touched miscellaneous, so this should be the 50. Yep, perfect. Um, Okay, so let's just get back to the beginning. So we had been using some of our tax return to um, like help my husband um, put a new liner in the koi pond. We created a new pond for the red-eared slider turtles that we have. Um, if you're following me on Instagram, you see a lot more of that of our life like on stories because that's typically where I share that. It's not something I put in the feed as I keep that mostly like budget related. Um, but I do like to share that side and that journey. So if you're interested in seeing more, I do share some on the community page here on YouTube, but the majority of it is on Instagram. I'm not going to lie. Um, that is my like primary platform outside of my like videos here. So go ahead and follow me there if you're interested in seeing that. Um, and we also use some of the tax return to treat us to eating out. Um, we kind of supplemented our income a little bit with it, but not too much. And then the rest is just sitting in that savings account for right now until we decide um, like what we'll necessarily do with it. So um, that's why you see us with so much leftover for dining out because you guys know that that usually is gone right away. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my spending first. I just did, I'm pretty sure I just did the five tens and the five fives like I always do. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, or no, four fives, I don't know, what do I do? Um, five, so this is 50, so 60, 75, yeah, no, five fives. All right, so that'll be my 75 for the week. I am gonna go ahead and put that. 25 into my wallet. Okay, let's just do that now. So I don't have just money sitting here and then I get confused as to what that money is for. Okay. And then for his spending, we just did 520s. One, two, three, four, five. So now he has 140. Okay, and then I'm adding dining out because we were supposed to do 300 for the month and we have only done 175 so far. So I owe it another 175. So I just did six 20s. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I might change those to being that six. Oh, I can't count. Um, let's take out that one. Okay. Oh my God, you guys, I really can't count. I needed that. <sighs> okay, six twenties. And then I did four tens. You guys, I don't know if I'm supposed to keep this. <laughs> It's really raggedy, but look how old it is. It's 1995, but it's like the old kind. See? I don't know. Do we keep? And I'm going to definitely spend that one. Look, he has a hole in his mouth. Three. Four. 
because I know those will be spent. I'll just get those back out into circulation. One, two, three. All right, so this should be 175. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. Perfect. And then, oh wait, I have to add this back to it. Um, all right, so let's see what we have. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, oh my gosh, 70, 80, 90, so 290. It is so hard to manage those very old, like flimsy, thin um, bills that have, you know, get worn down after a while. Look at that, it's chunky. Um, and I think that was it in this one, but let me see. Because I have yoga and then my nail appointment tomorrow. So I think I'll add another 10. So at least I have 30 in my wallet for lunch. I won't need that much. I mean, unless I choose to go somewhere like, um, like we have a Mediterranean restaurant. Sometimes I like eating there, but that's like 20, 21 bucks, you know, um, but the goal is obviously not to spend that whole 30. Um, so that's it for this binder. Let's hop into the high priority binder. And we did all of the vehicle stuff earlier in the month. So we are going to go into the home section today. And as soon as I'm done with this cash stuffing um, and I finish like tracking my spending for this month, paying anything back. I need to do a cash condensing and just kind of revisit my categories to see where I'm at. Like how much am I gonna have to pay for earthquake, for example, which is already the bill has been generated. Um, I have to pay that, I think by August 2nd. So how much do I have? And like, how much do I need to put in the beginning of July to fully fund it. So basically just revisiting my balances and the goal and then obviously doing a condensing. So let's go ahead. Um, earthquake policy is gonna get a 50 and a 10. And let's see what we have. So we have 500 in the bank. So we have 600, 720, and I want to say the bill, I think I wrote it, 768. So how much should I say that I had here? 720. So we need 48 more dollars if I did that math right. So I basically know that in July, that's what I have to put, you know what I mean? And then starting in August, I will then take the amount. And since it keeps going up a little bit every year, I think I'll just be comfortable at like maybe 790, 780 even. And then dividing that by however many months I want to spend funding it. And that'll be the amount that I determine, you know, monthly to put towards it. And then let's see, home warranty is going to be 30. So I just did a 20 and a 10. So now we have 20, 40, 50, 60. And home warranty. So this is um, basically new for us. We paid for the year. We used, um, like I, I basically in one month said, this amount, 300 and something, is going to go towards this, pay for it for the year. And what we're stuffing now is going to cover us in that second year. So we're basically going to be a year um, a year ahead. And then home maintenance is going to get 200 So I just did $200. So this is different than our emergency fund. We have 5 k sitting in an emergency fund. That would be if bigger things like go wrong, like water heater, etc. cetera. Um, home maintenance would be like um, I purchased a shower head. I actually still think I need to pull for that. I have to check. I'm so confused sometimes, like just with everything going on that I'm glad I write everything down because that's basically how I'm going to remember at this point. Um, but if, you know, something were to happen or if we needed to purchase 
um, a new filter for our fridge because we have like the water thing like that's where I would pull this from so basically things that would just maintain our home so we have three envelopes for home one is no longer an envelope actually because it's in our high yield savings account that 5k that was our home emergency then we have our home maintenance that we just discussed and then we have household which would be like paper towels toilet paper things like that cleaning supplies so there are different like levels to what you would save to maintain your home so that's something to consider if you're like struggling with your categories so for home maintenance we have 400 getting a thumbnail okay um i was never sure i'm never sure like what i want my thumbnail to be but that looked really pretty um the alarm that's gonna get ten dollars so let's see where we're at this is $100 a year, and it's not due until January. We have 20, 30, 40, 50. So we are already halfway there. So we'll be fully funded way before January, which is good. Pest control. Again, we paid for this. Um, we had saved 450, but we needed a little bit more because when you start up service, they charge you this like entrance fee, I guess you could call it. Um, so we had to use our checking account cushion for, well, we just basically budgeted it for it that month, paid for a year, and this is what we're gonna save to, you know, um cover the next year. So this is gonna get 40. I just did two 20s, so now we have 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, the next year, I think, is going to be, I can't remember now at this point. I did the math. Basically, if I put that $40 a month, I'll be fine for the next the next year. Edison, we already did. Trash, we need to add 20. I need to see if I have to pull from this. Um, I think our trash bill might be due. Uh, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190. So this is, I think it's like 156 is our bill. Water, we're going to add 20. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, Thinking about taking the ones, but uh, 212. We'll see. When I pull the money, maybe. Um, I did not add anything yet to septic. We do have $450 sitting in a high yield savings account, but um, I want to start incorporating this in July to save a little bit more. Um, I don't know. Even if it's $5 a month, it'll add up to where when we have to spend that 450 to service our septic again we'll already be ready for like the next time and then i added yard maintenance because um we had spent 1200 of our tax return to have someone come in and clear our yard of all the huge like uh tumbleweeds and you know it was they're called russian nettle uh the ones that we get clear them all and I asked him to give us a quote on what it would cost for him to come in like twice a month to like help us out and then um, for future saving for our garden again we've been using the farmer's market savings challenge taking advantage of the rewards on our credit cards for um, the home improvement stores that we were getting five percent back so this will be like for future garden stuff because my husband asked me he's like so when are we going to be disassembling your garden beds I'm like what are you trying to say that I'm not going to be a gardener? Like, are you trying to say I'm going to fail? He's like, no, but I know you, you're going to want to change it. I said, well, no, not necessarily change it, but add to it. Like maybe we can extend the garden area and make it a little bit bigger and add maybe like a greenhouse. So that basically would be this envelope is for like future, um, you know, future goals of mine for our garden. So that is it for high priority time for low priority which is just as important to me so we have memories kids us my husband and I and our annual so let's see mm, let me go to us because that's the first one on my list would be for my clothing let's see mm, 100 I just did 520s one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now in my clothing, I have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, one, two, three, four, 194. That's good. That's going to build up nicely soon. And then uh, go to annual because I need to go to streaming. 
Streaming is going to go ahead and get a $10 bill. So now in streaming, we have 25. Um, this, I did this obviously as custom for myself. Um, you can see it says Paramount, etc. But this style of envelope I had only done as a custom order for a client um, after she saw mine. It's not something that is in my shop, but obviously if you want something like this, just let me know when you're purchasing, like reach out to me through messages on Etsy, okay? Um, and then annual memberships, that's gonna get a 20. So now we have 60. A lot of the memberships that we have, like to the zoos, aquariums, things like that, we are allowed to purchase with our funds from our charter school because we're like in a home school, but we're with a charter school, so we get funding. So I don't have to worry about that, but this would be for things that um, would be like out of pocket for us, things that maybe they don't cover. And no, nothing is coming to my mind right now to tell you. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, we are going to hop into holidays. All right, so this is my holiday binder. Um, it is my favorite just because being able to cash flow Christmas since 2020 has been, I don't even know, I can't even begin to tell you like how amazing that was, um, what we went through to fund Christmases prior to that. You know, I was the crazy lady with like two carts Black Friday at Walmart, but I know better now. I know that I can get better deals than shopping Black Friday deals. Like I have grown up, <laughs> but um, yeah, this is uh, it's just beautiful to me. The concept, the idea behind it, the principle behind it, what we're able to do is just, uh, it's just a wonderful thing. So this is my holiday binder. Let's get started. All right. So Valentine's day is just going to get a 20. We have some money in our high yield savings account from last year. We had rollover, so I just kept it in there. So we have 150 as rollover, and then 20, 40, 60, 5, 75. So, well, no, let me just count that. 150, 170, 190, 210, 215, 220, 225. So 225. Normally our goal is $300. We'll see whether I want to add more to it or if at 300 I will stop. Um, I've really just been itching and um, aggressively trying to save more for things that include just my husband and I. Um, I I'm just at that stage. I think we're both at that stage in our life where we just really want to enjoy each other so we're trying to find ways to do that and yes money helps with that um, being able to go and do stuff or being able to get away um, and be kid free like I'm not gonna lie I'm, I don't feel bad for saying that but we definitely need to embrace us we're not getting younger you know what I'm saying <laughs> all right Easter is gonna get a 20 as well so that gives us 125 um, again, I'll stop at 300. That has just been the magic number for us. We do have uh, three kids still in the house, and that number has just been something we have been comfortable with. Um, Mother's Day is going to go ahead and get 20. This is obviously for next year. So now we have 45. 300 is the goal. Father's Day is not fully funded. I will be taking this out. I'm not adding to it, but I um, need to reconcile those purchases, which I you will see me do in my next like check-in video. Um, you won't see cash pulled for it because it's sitting in my high yield savings account, but you will see the transactions and I will explain how I like managed that. Fourth of July is fully funded. We have 700 sitting there. I did have a question and I did respond. I was a little late on my response and I apologize for that, but they asked, not to be rude, but like, why so much for 4th of July? Why 700? Do you guys go somewhere? So the answer is typically yes. Um, this year, no, because both my girls have summer jobs. So um, I think I definitely one of them is working until five that day. My husband has to work. I don't because I, you know, my job gives me federal holidays. Let's just put it that way. Um, but we're not going to be going somewhere. But what we do that weekend 
I don't know, maybe we'll be able to go do something over the weekend. Um, if not, then this money will be repurposed for something else or just roll over to the next year. Um, anniversary, that is going to get another 100. Again, I've been really trying to focus on us. So in the bank, see this is a placeholder. This is actually fake money. See how it says copy? So 100, 200, 300, 400, 5, 6, 7. So we have 700. And I just want to give a shout out to Spooky Budgets. She is the one that made these for me, the Harry Potter theme. Um, I, I love them. So I was thinking about like laminating them, but I just haven't done that yet. So now we have 700 in our anniversary. Um, our anniversary is in July as well. Don't know that we'll be able to do anything in the first part of July just because um, I didn't get time off. I got denied my request based on seniority, but I still have the fourth off. The kids have to work, but we might be able to do something on a weekend. So we'll we'll see. Halloween's fully funded at 500. That does include gas to get us to wherever we're going for trick-or-treating since where we live, there's no trick-or-treating, it's so remote. And then um, costumes and then eating out that day. So this funds like all the things, okay? Um, Thanksgiving, I'm gonna go ahead and add a 20. This is our second year cash stuffing for Thanksgiving. This was not one of the holidays we cash stuffed for, um, but I'm excited that we are doing that again because it was actually really helpful. So now we have 50, 60, 70, $80 in Thanksgiving. Um, I don't have an invite to anywhere yet, neither did we last year. I don't mean to say that as like, feel sorry for us, but we just did not have an invite. Oh, I owe $100 to this envelope because I borrowed it for tip. Um, but I think we're adding to this. Let me move that to this, or let me put that in the back. Um, okay, so Christmas, uh, but I just want to be prepared whether, you know, I actually prepare food for Thanksgiving like I did last year, or if I do what I've been like kind of itching to do, just going out and eating dinner um, for Thanksgiving. I don't know, but we're saving for it. Okay, Christmas, we are going to be adding our typical 320. So $320. So let's see. In the bank, we have, good Lord, hold on, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. So once I do my cash condensing, I'll have enough to put a $1,000 placeholder, but we have 900 in the bank. So 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, 1,500, 16, 17, 1,800. So we have 1,820. $1,820 in Christmas. Our goal is 3,500 this year. And again, just to answer those questions that have been asked and that I know will be asked, what does that cover? That literally covers everything for Christmas, whether it's presents for us, extended family members, um, buying food, buying some decorations, all the things, this covers all of it. If we see something for Black Friday, you know, maybe even that, this will cover everything. So that's why the amount is so high. Um, so now, because I don't wanna forget, New Year's is going to get something, what am I gonna give it, 20. $20, so 20, 40, 60, 75. Okay. And then let's hop into birthdays. Um, we're not funding Harmonies this month. Her birthday was this month, and we don't start funding the next year until after, like the following month. Rivers was February, so we're already underway. And we are gonna go ahead and put $100. Yeah, so that's 300 now for River's birthday. And then Sky's birthday was in May, so we are Again, see nothing's in here because we didn't fund it for May. That was the actual month, but now we're in June. So now we're adding $100 and this will go towards next year's birthday. 100, okay. And then he's already fully funded. I'm already fully funded for the year. So I'm not worrying about that. And then I think, okay, so what I have left is actually, basically I repurposed money 
to cover like our farmer's market savings challenge, our 52 week bookmark challenge and things like that. And I owed that to myself. So this basically, the rest of this is gonna go towards paying myself back, like putting it back into my, um, like my A5 savings challenge binder. I hope that made sense. Basically I borrowed money from there to like fund my savings challenge, like to have money for my savings challenges videos and now I owe it. So that's basically what's left over. Everything else has been cash stuffed. Um, that's it for today's video. I really appreciate you hanging out and I cannot even believe that this was the last cash stuffing for June. Like we are halfway done with the year. Where is the time going? So I will see you guys in the next video for cash stuffing, which will be to cash stuff for the first week of July. Totally insane. All right, you guys, see you then. Bye.